I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. It's Debbie and we are doing voiceover with these videos this week because of some technical difficulties but we're gonna take a lemon and make it lemonade so let's just get right into the video now I know it's summertime and the temperature is 102 104 out there this week but we wanted pot pie and I wanted a puff pastry to put on top of a pot pie because that is something that is just so hearty, so filling, and you don't need extra stuff to fill you up. You got your veggies and your meat and your gravy and your bread, and you have you know your pastry on top. Everything is just a perfect marriage in a dish. So we took our veggies from the garden. Some of them we got from the farmer's market or the produce stand across the street. And we went ahead and sauteed them. And it takes about 20 minutes to saute fresh veggies. Now, if you're using frozen veggies, more power to you. It takes about 5-10 minutes to saute frozen veggies. Just keep that in mind. Just put a little butter in your pan and just saute them up. Delicious. The first steps of this recipe is to melt your butter in your frying pan and then saute your veggies. Now we had the carrots from our garden and the celery and the Vidalia onions from the fruit stand across the street. Now you're going to have to cook these for a while because they're not easy to cook. <laughs> so you just got to keep cooking. What I did was I put my lid on top of my frying pan and I allowed it to kind of like steam a little bit the vegetables and it made it a little easier to cook. And then I started on the roux. Now the roux is flour, chicken stock, and milk. And then you start building your flavors. Now we added extra chicken stock in here because I wanted to add more flavor to it. And we also added salt and pepper for seasoning. You can use thyme if you want to but thyme gives it an herby taste and our family's from the south middle georgia and they're meat and potato folks so they are not into all those extra herbs but if you like that you can add in a teaspoon of thyme into your roux now we cooked our veggies for over 20 minutes and we built our roux it took about maybe five to seven minutes to build the roux and then we took it off the stove added in our chicken and we used the rotisserie chicken from Walmart in the deli it's already cooked it's already deboned it's already shredded just pop that one pound of chicken into your roux and you're good to go and Elsie had a bag of the frozen peas that we added in so everything was kind of farm to table except for the chicken of course and we went ahead and started putting it in our little crocks that we had for baking. And we added um, our puff pastry on top and baked it for 18 minutes. I will put everything in the description box below. It is so good, so tasty, so filling, guys. I know it's summertime, but enjoy some chicken pot pie because it's so good, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and thank you so much for watching our videos. All right, we're going to put our chicken in and mix it up. And then we're going to add our peas. This is rotisserie chicken that we got from Walmart. It is in the deli area of Walmart, and you can buy it for, I think it comes in a one-pound container. And these are fresh frozen peas. Oh good, look at that, that's just mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the prep area and roll out my dough for the tops of these, and then we'll start spooning these up in just a couple minutes. The reason we're doing the puff pastry recipe by itself is because there's a lot to explain, a lot of steps, and I figured it deserved its own video. This here was a little stiff to roll out at first, but once the rolling pin started warming up the butter, it just was so smooth, smooth as silk. Actually easy to cut, and we were able to put our chicken pot pie into our crocks and put our puff pastry on top. It just has some buttery, salty goodness. My gosh, it's good. Sister Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.